Hi, second grade. Um, I am here to read you chapter 29 of Where the Mountain Meets the Moon. And when we last left off, we were checking in on Ma and Ba. But if you recall the chapter before that, um, Minley had found herself in a dangerous situation. So we'll pick off right here at chapter 29, and this picture might refresh your memory. Minley's scream seemed to freeze in the air. The tiger leapt at her, his scowling mouth glittering with pointed teeth, his blade-like claws rushing toward her. Minley knew there was no escape, but a flash of red violently knocked the attacking claw away. Minley gasped as dragon roared the tiger's claws ripping into his arm. With the brutal force of his other arm, the dragon threw the tiger back, forcing it to fly in the air. Go away, the dragon thundered, in a voice that even made Min Lee quake. She would never have imagined dragon could speak that way. The tiger glared like a spoiled child. Minley could now see it was not an ordinary tiger. It was bigger than a horse or buffalo, and it was a dark, dusty green, like the color of sand dirtied from ocean foam. Even in the dim light of the moon, Minley could see its eyes glower with malevolence. Go, Dragon commanded again. Minley realized she had forgotten how big Dragon was. The tiger was large, but Dragon was bigger, though the viciousness of the tiger's expression made them seem evenly matched. But the tiger gave another malicious snarl and turned away. Dragon stood his full height until even the tiger's moonlit shadow disappeared from view. Are you all right? Dragon asked finally. That tiger, Minley said in a daze, that tiger was going to kill me. I know, Dragon said, that tiger was truly evil. When you screamed, I could feel it. And strangely, without knowing why, Minley burst into tears. The tiger's roar still echoed in her ears and she could see his cruel claws and eyes. Now that he was gone, her terror flooded out of her. It is okay, the dragon said, gently putting his arm on her shoulders. It was then Minley saw the four long gashes bleeding on Dragon's arms. The tiger's claws had been sharp and the slashes were deep. Minley shook herself and brushed her tears away. You're hurt, Minley said, looking at the cuts, which were already starting to swell. It's all right, Dragon said. Don't worry, Dragon's heal quickly. They walked back into the cave and Minley poured water on the wounds to clean them. She wrapped her blanket around Dragon's arm, but it continued to slowly bleed. As he lay down, Minley noticed Dragon's eyes fade and blur. I am starting to feel strange, Dragon said huskily. Perhaps I will sleep. Okay, Minley said, you sleep. Maybe when you wake up, you'll feel better. But Minley felt as if she had swallowed a frozen rock. Something was wrong with the dragon. She knew it. Though throughout the night, his breathing grew hoarser and his skin was damp. Every time she unwrapped the blanket, she grimaced. The ugly wounds had turned black. An evil looking liquid was starting to seep. Minley shivered and it was not from the cold. He's getting weaker, Minley thought. Something is very wrong. I have to do something. Dragon needs help but I don't want to leave him. What am I going to do? By the time the first light of the sun crept into the cave, M Dragon's breathing was rough. When Minley shook him, he did not wake up. Minley felt a surge of panic. I don't know what to do, she thought desperately. Her quick thinking mind darted like a flustered butterfly. I know, she thought, I'll go to that village. Maybe someone there will know what to do. Minley stood up and whispered into Dragon's ear, I'm going to get help. I'll be back soon, I promise. Just hold on until then, okay? But Dragon did not respond. 
and Min Lee felt tears start to form in her eyes. Quickly, without even gathering her things, she turned and left. It was mid-morning outside and Min Lee squinted in the sun. The wind still blew bitterly, but she didn't even notice. Instead, Min Lee began to run toward the patch of yellow in the distance. And that is the end of chapter 29. So in Reader's Workshop, we've been learning that you can learn a lot about characters by the way that they respond to problems. So Dragon coming to Min Lee's aid shows us that he is loyal and caring and brave. And then Min Lee running to go get help for Dragon. What do you guys think that tells us about Min Lee as a character as she's bravely setting off to the village? Well, we'll have to wait until tomorrow to hear what Min Lee will find in that village. Thanks for reading with me today.